cuisine is finally starting to get the recognition it deserves. The South has outstanding pig, fish and veggie dishes. I'm Thais. I'm in Granada in the south of Spain. This food documentary ha was much harder to make than you'd imagine. And with so many amazing places to go, it was almost impossible to decide. But I narrowed it down to a few. These are a few suggestions on where you should eat. This story is awesome and it's really exciting and I hope it makes you hungry. I know that I certainly am. Uh, I wanted to show you guys around Granada and give you an insight into my favorite places to eat. Uh, so I love savory food, but I've also got rather large sweet tooth. And I'm crazy about cheesecake. Oh gosh, I absolutely love this city. Um, not ready to leave. One of those places I could certainly stay and just eat churros and hot chocolate all day. <laughs> I'm out the front of this awesome cafe. It's like an institution here in Granada. It's called the Football Cafe. I think just about everybody comes here for churros and hot chocolate or coffee. So I'm really pleased to share this one with you. Cafe Football is one of the oldest cafes in Spain. Initially, it started as a place that sold milk and home delivery. Four generations have passed through here and is known in Granada for making the best Cheerios and hot chocolate. Sorry? Will you show me why it's famous? Why well, it's famous because it's old and because people like it. Uh, oh, people... it's old, it's original. Yeah, it's, it's not original. It's not, uh, this place is 100 years old. Ah, oh, amazing. My family is running from, since my grandfather. Oh, this is the guy who owns the football cafe. <laughs> <laughs> And he's got a painting here that's really old. It says it's about 100 years old. They tell me to dip the churros, this little guy, and basically break it off and dip it into the hot chocolate. Mm. It's delicious. Yum. Very traditional Spanish. I've heard it time and time again. You absolutely have to try these. Um, not good for the waistline, so I only advise just giving it a try, but not every day. It's a real treat. Anyway, it's an alternative to tapas if you feel like something sweet, um, or you just fancy going for a coffee with a friend. It's it's a great sharing item. like a spot of uh, lunch so I've dropped everything that I'm doing stopped the editing stopped the writing and I've decided to go for a walk to a couple of places that have been highly recommended to me by the locals if you're looking for the best cheesecake in Granada yes please I think I found it La Tata de la Mare de Cris the translation is mother of Chris. It's a small family-run business with a simple idea, selling cheesecake. It deserves the recognition after one bite and you will understand why it's so good. I think it's the best I've ever had. So the people that I'm staying with, their friend of a friend owns this uh, cheesecake shop and they highly recommended it. It's brilliant. They can carry on a tradition of home baking, keeping it to a selection of only a few flavors. But classic cheese is the best. <laughs> Crazy about cheesecake, yum! Mm. La Tata, mother of Chris in Granada has the best cheesecake guys. I'm loving today. I've literally gone to two or three 
places, I try a little bit of something of everywhere and move on to the next. I think this is gonna become a thing. <laughs> but it's not great if I'm getting ready for the summer bikini body. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> Yum. Minuet is the neighborhood style bakery. They pride themselves on making real food with the best ingredients. The old fashioned artisan way, by hand, with dedication and love. They have the best coffee and ham and cheese croissants. The Spanish people love to eat out all the time. So while there's less tourists here, I certainly admire that they go out and enjoy their own cities now in uh, their own tranquility. Uh, restaurants, bars are still with a lot of people a lot of things going on. They close at six, but I'm certainly enjoying exploring each and every one of them. I'm in Granada, and what instrument do you think you're going to actually find all the way in Granada that's affiliated with Australia? Okay, and where did you learn to play the didgeridoo? Indonesia, Vietnam, Laos, Thailand. You learnt in Asia, but yeah. you've never been to Australia? No. no. Would you like to go to Australia? I Thanks so much. Yeah. Tribal nomads, guys. Whilst the Leon restaurant is not aesthetically beautiful, their food is hearty and tasty. It's typically Andalusian. I recommend the Picadillo soup. It's prepared with chicken, small chunks of ham, with a hard boiled egg. It's got croutons, it's a very meaty, hearty sort of soup with um, a clear liquid. Mm. It's just what you need on these cold days. Some nice soup just to warm you up. Mmm, yum, and egg. I've never had egg in my soup. I wish you guys could try it, but I can only try and explain it to you. It's like a boiled egg broken up with hamon, like a bacony sort of flavor with home baked croutons. Yum. I'm gonna really miss Granada when I leave. I can't believe I'm moving to the next destination. I'm so fortunate. I feel free, really free these days. Uh, I know that. Traveling around the south of Spain is an absolute dream and it's one that I've been dying to do for ages. I'm so excited you guys could join me and especially join me for my lunch. <laughs> Thanks for watching me eat my way through Spain. Making vlogs is a great distraction from worrying about the calories. I hope I've inspired you to travel more, eat better and enjoy life. I absolutely love Granada, so if anyone has the chance or the opportunity and you're not too sure whether to come, I stop what you're doing and watch this video and indulge and embrace it and have some fun with me because there's nothing I love more than actually showing you guys this fantastic place. And there's more places to go to see, there's more places to explore, to see more cultures, more tradition and uh, I can't begin to tell you how spoilt and lucky I've been uh, with the contacts I've made, uh, the hospitality, the people, the Spanish people have been incredible. I never get tired of this country, there's always something fantastic and fabulous. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> This guy, oh my god, what the end, which is, which is gracias, a white rose. <laughs> this beautiful, thank you, besos.